In the heart of Minnesota, where the land is as rugged as its people, a father and daughter embark on a journey of renewal and restoration. For then, these cars are more than the cheese. They're a link to the past and a testament to hard work, craftsmanship, and the love of the open road. Join them as they breathe new life into old metal, one bolt at a time. This is a series about family, heritage, and the timeless art of rebuilding. Welcome to Onyx Payton Speed Show. Good morning. Today is Saturday, the 27th of July. Yesterday was the foreman's birthday. Um, so we always do. She and I, as we go to this large flea market swap meet thing, and uh, just two of us. So what I'll do is I'll uh, record some of that stuff. It's going to be 90 degrees today. It's already humid, which is great. Anyway, so we're going to do that and uh, kind of record along the way. And and uh, maybe we'll run into somebody, you know. We'll see. See when we get there. Well, before I do that, before we get going, I have to come out and get my hat because I'll tell you what, on a day like today and a haircut like that, it's going to be, you know, doesn't work. But we do have Clyde and we do have that guy. So I have a, I'm going to be doing a project coming up here to help me out with this one. Um, so stick around for that. If you want to repaint that, she's with Grandma and Grandpa. They're going to do fun, cool stuff today. And, uh, so anyway. Hey. Hey. Jordan and Bonnie, is she still chilling up there? All right. So, bye. Haven't even left the yard yet. It's already stressful. There's one reason. It's my birthday, leave me alone. Yeah. When you're going somewhere, make sure you have someone who knows how to gas station. Nope. <laughs> Not even a little. Took her 38 minutes to put a coffee in there. She didn't know how to pick out a gas station breakfast. You know what? Check this out. I'm going to do a video on how to gas station when you're going somewhere. So it doesn't take 39 minutes. <laughs> That's what I have you for. This is going to go great. It's already 900 degrees and humid. What would you do if I went home? I mean, I'm bigger than her and I got the car. So it's a lot nice. All right. I'm just wondering, who doesn't know how to gas station? <laughs> How's that sandwich? It's squishy and dry and wet all at the same time. It's awesome. Show me the floppy. <laughs> it looks so terrible. Mmm. Well, what? It's fine. It's fine? Sure. Oh, that was really bad. <laughs> Yep, but that's not good. Good thing I got another one. Oh, I can't wait. Either we'll, we'll get there or we won't. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards we won't. Mm. <laughs> Jimmy Dean. Pancake. Something or other. Oh, that, that's kind of... I don't really know how to describe the texture of the pancake. <laughs> that's not... <laughs> Kind of a undercooked wet white bread maple flavor with some kind of egg in quotes. I just want to say my coffee is really good. I'm looking forward to my big bread. <laughs> oh, 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 it stuck to my fingers. See? <laughs> 
Mm. Telling you, kids. Gas station breakfast. Nothing beats it. Everybody hates this guy. <laughs> Nice. Everybody. <laughs> Actually, I should do a video with him. Yeah. I just thought about that. Are you filming me? No. It's hot. Oh, by the way, Arco said he's not going to be at his own show, and he asked me to host it. <laughs> I just sold 12 of his T-shirts for a buck and a half each. He didn't even see it. That's a pain in the ass, man. All right, we're at the show where the swap meet and stuff. But really not as big as it was that's not good check that out kids that's a Willers Overland I've never seen another one of these I've never seen one of those hey you guys think you're cool it's got the smelling 33s none of this 22 24s to get on the way button. There's no uh, there's back seat. No tie down. That is about the coolest thing ever. I wonder how they got my crit on my uh, stroller when I was a kid. Oh, it's crazy. All right, kids. Been a pretty small uh, swap meet and stuff. Kind of disappointing. That's okay. It's a good time to get out with Foreman and stuff. Now, speaking of disappointing, we got to go say <laughs> goodbye to Arco. So we'll bring you around for that one. What's up, kids? It is uh, a beautifully humid, rainy, thousand degree Sunday morning. And uh, I got a little running around to do. So I have to go in here because it's my favorite place to be. Yep, anyway, like I said, got a little running around to do. And uh, I gotta do something real quick here. And then uh, I'll kind of tell you what's up. So every year, Melissa and I go to that uh, swap meet flea market thing, and uh, it's something we do for her birthday. She really enjoys it, so uh, we always make sure to go, and we uh, leave Peyton at home. The reason we do that is because it's just nice to get out from the two of us. We don't do that too much. By the way, big red. Oh, it's good, man. Okay, so I'm gonna be doing something to help with this, but I gotta use my friend the tape measure here. So I need to get the widest point. Hey, watch it. That's what happens when I don't use my tape measure that I love. Fast, I thought I'd get it like that. Oh, okay, that's cool. That's perfect. Did I tell you what I'm gonna do? No? Okay, cool. Alright, so I'm gonna fix that mess up just good down here. Uh, okay. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put together a gantry crane. You guys know what those are. I mean, you know, you've seen them on the, yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get a thing, hoist, chain hoist. We looked for them at the swap meet, but they were either like huge where you could pick up a house or they were in pieces that you weren't really sure if they were all there. So it's pretty neat. No. Um, so I'm going to go Harbor Freight and have that big clearance sale and whatnot. So what I'm gonna, why I'm going to do that is because you know that we're going to have to put this. I'm going to fix that. We're going to be putting this on and off a bit over the, you know, the frame there. So now the reason we're going to be doing that, of course, is because of that fifth body. They're going to, you know, cut things, repair rust, put it on that cart. Speaking of that cart, we need to fix those wheels too. So it'll be easy to pick it up and kind of turn it over and then pick it up and, you know. Plus you got the, you'll see. It's gonna be a whole lot of fiddling. So there might not be a lot of car stuff coming up here today at all. <laughs> but that's okay. Can't always do car fun things. And uh, 
anyway, we had a blast going there. It was great seeing Arco and Heidi, especially Heidi. Um, if you saw in the picture I put up, he's doing another um, drag race. Uh, that was the picture that's up next to him. That's on September 1st. His show is the uh, 17th of August. We'll be there. Guaranteed. Unless my leg falls off or something. Um, of course, we're going to be doing our Honest Peyton Speed Shop uh, trophy. And we picked up some cool stuff to do that. And Peyton and I are going to be putting that together. So this is the stuff we got coming up. But today we're going to go to Harbor Freight. We're going to get the chain hoist. Now, I know how wide and how tall I need it to be. I'm going to be using wood because I have wood. And I want to be able to take it apart. I'm going to be putting it together. I'm going to be using bolts and whatnot. So I can take it apart and store it. Because I don't always need it, but I'll tell you what, when we do need it, or if someone actually needs to use it, they can bolt it together and they can use it and bring it back. Um, I'm not going to be doing, a, doing it out of metal just because I don't have any of that stuff. And I need it to be able to come apart because I don't have room to keep it in here or I'd love to keep it in here all the time. But I have a small shop and you guys know that. I say it all the time. Um, it's very humid in here today. It's 9.24, and uh, so let's get going to Harbor Freight. You know we're gonna film in there. We're gonna get a cart. It's clearance, man. 40% off if you're home, if you're the, the inside. Yeah, that guy. Um, also, we're gonna talk a little bit. Yeah, we're definitely getting some surface rust on here, so we're gonna have to be You know, hit and collide thing. See it right there? Some surface rust. So we're gonna be having to sand that and prime it and stuff. And look, it's it's just be what it is. Um, we got a lot of things to decide whether or not we're gonna get wheel wells or whatever. So on, anyway, uh, I followed the Model A Mafia on the social media and the guy, I put a picture of this out there and the guy from uh, Virginia posted the picture of this car, this exact car under mine, under my picture. And he posted another picture of this car on the trailer that I bought, heading down the road. Pretty cool. Considering this has been in Minnesota for six years and it came out of Virginia uh, before that, you know, six years ago. So that's pretty neat. Um, It's been around a, a minute or seven. Uh, the thing is, it, it actually was less. What you? It was actually less surface rusty. But I don't hate any of this, so um, I still have to decide what we're gonna do. Uh, I'm hoping Peyton will find her way out here to work on it. It would be nice if she did. Anyway, off to Harbor Freight. All right, so we have borrowed the Ridgeline. Mainly because I don't know where my keys are for my Jeep. I do that a lot. Um, anyway, so we're going to do that uh, eventually too. Find my Jeep key so I can go to work tomorrow. Uh, we were going to do some things outside, but I don't see it happening today. It's been pretty rainy. And it's going to get more rainy as the day goes on. Hopefully it'll take care of some of the humidity. And then we can actually start doing some things again. Um, anyway, see you Parade. It's over there. Said, yep. Yeah, it's there. So we're gonna go in, do the thing. There's not too many people here, which is awesome. So maybe we'll be able to film a little bit. And uh, so that's gonna be a good time. We'll see you inside. Would have loved to have a walk around. I would have, yeah, you know what I'm saying. But the music was really, really loud and I don't want any of those copyright strikes or any of that stuff. Anyway, I'll show you when you're going home. A little bit of home. I will show you what I picked up when we get home. And then, uh, of course, I didn't just get the one thing, the clearance and stuff. So, anyway, see you in a bit. We're home. My dad and me, me in the red line. Anyway, uh, I'll show you kind of what I picked up. I really would have liked to, I was walking around, I was showing you pretty much everything. But that music, I'm telling you, was just, there was not a lot of people, so the music was really loud. 
And uh, as much as I love Steve Miller Band and Abracadabra, the song, I want to get copyright strike. So, a few things I picked up. One, we're going to be doing brake lines. Tubing bender. Um, my trailer didn't come with a locking pin or lock pin, so a couple, three bucks. For the parts depot. I got some frames to hang up. We're going to see if these actually do it. Um, the only thing is, I don't think these are going to do it, so maybe we'll try. I'm going to try to figure something out, but they were like three bucks. We keep losing these bungee cords. Actually, yeah. They're elastic stretch cords. A sling, you know. You got to pick up stuff. I do have my toe strap, but you know, I think that's gonna go this way and then this one will go like that. Let me I won't. On clearance, regular place regular price, $34.97. I got this one for $21. Um, Peyton has one. Uh, I didn't have one of these. This was an impulse. $20. Bucks. Let's face it, it's in $20 bucks tomorrow and lunch or something and then here we go i got this guy this chain waist it's a one ton i don't think i'll need more than 2,000 pounds of picking up power um now here's the cool part um i shouldn't really need the the crane the cherry picker when it comes to do the engine transmission i should be able to use this but we'll have to see um that's gonna do it for now um because one of my favorite people is in town, and I get to see him once a year. And we only get a couple, three hours, maybe. Um, his name is Josh. Love the guy to death. I've known him since eighth grade, ninth grade. Yeah. Probably the smartest dude I know. Um, also one of the most genuine people that I know. Uh, <laughs> there was a lot of shenanigans when we were younger. I'll just leave it at that. I can't share any of the stories, but man, the ones I remember are awesome. So anyway, uh, if I don't come back and add to this video, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, it was just kind of, you know, you know, just a good weekend to do some, uh, some stuff and kind of prep. I will be building that gantry crane very soon, actually very, very soon, because I need to get this body up off and I need to do it so I can cut uh, the floor section so I can set this back down and we're going to be doing it pretty much right over here. We're picking it up and then I'm going to get in there. Some cutting, you know, there's going to be some bracing and whatever else going on too. So hold it, but I got to pick this up because I don't want to cut into the frame. And once I get the, where I can set it back down and, and that stuff, we'll probably take it off and put it on the cart and then I don't know where we're going to put it. Maybe we'll just slide it right back outside. But anyway, we got some work to do on Clyde. You know that. we got to finish that because that's going to start getting used more. This is going to get used more. These are going to get used more. The lounge is going to get used more for when I'm taking naps out here. Um, anyway, kids, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, keep on wrenching.